A stroke is a life-changing event, physically and emotionally. Simple, everyday tasks may become more challenging or need to be relearned, and you may need more frequent rest breaks. Every stroke is unique, and your recovery will be too. As a trusted resource in your post-stroke journey, we've created step-by-step -step guides to make some common activities a little easier. Today's activity, meal preparation. First, a few helpful tips. Consider creating a weekly meal plan. This will help you save time and have more varied and healthy meals. Look for pre-cut or pre-chopped meats and vegetables at the grocery store, or do your prep work ahead of time when you feel more up to it and have more energy. Store pre-cut foods in a Ziploc bag or airtight storage container for up to a week. Use rubber grip mats under your bowls and cutting boards to keep items securely in place. Stock your kitchen with knives with a good rubber grip, rocker knives, and manual or electric processors. These are all good tools for cutting, chopping, and shredding. Other helpful items include utensils with suction or non-skid, non-slip features, and one-handed jar, can, and bottle openers. Get a standing chair, which will allow you to lean and have support while you're preparing your meals. A microwave oven can also be a great time saver. For easier access, install it at counter height. A slow cooker is another alternative to stovetop cooking. It lets you select the cutoff time so you can't overcook your meal. So now, let's make something together. Here's a curry tuna salad recipe. You can buy the ingredients, pre-chop them, and store them until you're ready to serve. First, gather all your ingredients. In a small microwavable bowl, stir together 3 fourths right, cup peeled and chopped carrots, 3 fourths cup finely chopped radishes, Good job. Now, 1 tablespoon water. And you see? There you go. Alright, there we go. Alright, dump that in there. Okay. okay, very good. So what we can do is we'll position your hand okay. right here. Okay. All right, and that stabilizes a little bit. Okay. All right. Cover with plastic wrap. Okay, tighten it down. That's excellent. And poke a small hole in the top to vent. Microwave on high power for four minutes or until the vegetables are tender. Remove from the microwave and carefully uncover then let cool completely. Right, just set it right down here. Very good. Drain two four and a half ounce cans of low sodium chunk light tuna packed in water. Okay. okay. All right, now into the bowl. I got it. Very good. Okay. Add three tablespoons of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. Good. Okay. One more. But that is like the mayonnaise portion. Very good. That's our, our plain yogurt. Two teaspoons yeah. curry powder. Okay. It's all okay. right. You're okay. It's messy. Good. Good. No. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. One. Okay. That's one. Uh-huh. All right. We was doing so good. I know, right? All right. Well, it's going to be worth it. All right. All right. Good. That's perfect. All right. All right and one and a half teaspoons lime juice. You know this is concentrated, right? I love it. Okay. All right. All right, there you go. All right. Okay. Refrigerate, cover for 20 minutes, allowing the flavors to blend. Drain and chop one 15 ounce can of pear slices. All right, okay, now we're gonna pick up our big spoon, our spatula. And gently stir into the tuna mixture until well blended. Place three-fourths cup of the tuna salad in the center of a whole wheat tortilla and top with avocado slices. Enjoy. As you adjust to life post-stroke, remember to take it slow and be patient with yourself. Make time for rest breaks and stop immediately if you experience shortness of breath, excessive sweating, or dizziness.